What's up, dorks? So you've built a really cool mobile Canvas app, and now you need to get it in front of your users. You have a few different options you could pursue, so let's explore some of those so you can figure out what'll work for your situation. Before we go through your different options, let's back up. The principle here is going to be deciding whether to put the burden on the end user or on you as the development team for installing and initially setting up the app. Keeping our users in mind, we'll start with the best user experience to what I would consider the worst. The first method is called app wrapping. This allows you to package up your applications and deploy them to various app stores. This could be your own internal app store within your company, or even the Apple App Store, the Android Store, or the Google Play Store. Out of all of your options, this is the most polished way to get your app out to folks. This comes with a few features that the other methods don't include. The most notable one is that you'll be able to install the application directly on your phone as if it's a native application. It's got its own logo, its own splash screen with your company's logo on it, and a sign-in page that's branded with all of your information. If you have multiple Canvas apps, you can actually wrap them together and deploy them as one package so users don't have to download or navigate between multiple apps and they'll all be contained within the same one. This also comes with a few other features that your users won't see, but your compliance team will love. If you're deploying via Intune, you have the option to include additional security management, such as preventing screenshots or determining where the data for the application is stored so it's not mixed in with personal data. While this is the coolest way that you could wrap your app, there are some challenges to be aware of. One of those is active management. Microsoft recommends rewrapping your app at least once a month. Another one is that it requires high-level permissions, so you'll need to work with your IT department to get some resources set up for you to use. Since this is such a nuanced process, it's best if you just go follow Microsoft's documentation. We'll leave a link to it down in the description. Since this is an involved and relatively laborious process that you'll have to work hand-in-hand -hand with your IT folks for, you don't necessarily want to do this for everything. So let's look at the other options. You probably already know about Microsoft's Power Apps application that you can download to your phone, you know, with the purple icon. That's the default experience for your apps. This comes with all of the features of a mobile Canvas app. You can use all of the controls like barcode scanners and whatnot, but it can be a little clunky to navigate to an application or between a few of them. So there are some ways that we can make this a little easier for your users. You can instruct folks to add shortcuts to their home screen. So it essentially adds a bookmark directly to your app on the home screen of their app. It still opens it through the Power Apps application, but it helps them get there faster. You can also have them scan a QR code and bring them directly to the app, or even deep link into the app and process those parameters to send them directly to a certain screen on the page. Though this saves you a little bit of work, it does put the burden on your users. So you may wanna provide them with some instructions on how to create bookmarks or a place to store all these QR codes to help them get where they need to go. And my least favorite way, the mobile browser. So you can access all of these applications directly with the URL. You don't have to download a special app to open them, but it doesn't provide all of the features that it should. You can't use certain controls, and it's just not a great way to interact with a Canvas app. For the mobile browser, I would essentially only use this if it's not worth downloading a separate application. So this could be maybe a one-time use form you've created in a Canvas app. Since the mobile browser doesn't come with a bunch of features, let's just compare wrapping your app versus the native mobile power apps application. Consider wrapping your application if you have sensitive data and you require the advanced security features that come with deploying it through Intune, like preventing screenshots. If this is a core part of your business and people use this app daily, then consider wrapping it and give them a better user experience if this is where their job is done. Make it easier for them. If you have a large user base, such as students at a university, it's a lot easier to support downloading the application when it's available in an app store, such as the Apple App Store or Android, where folks can go find it in a way where they already know how. You know, download 
app X from the Apple Store. It's a lot easier. If folks are only occasionally using this application, it's probably fine to allow them to navigate to it through the Power Apps application. One caveat would be if you have multiple apps to wrap it with that they're using all the time, wrap them all together and deploy it as one package. Or if the actual wrapping of the app is too demanding and you don't have the technical resources or the know-how to navigate it, the Power Apps application is a fine alternative. So I'm curious what use cases you would have for wrapping an application versus when the Power Apps app is just good enough. Or when you would allow folks to use a mobile browser. I don't even want to include that part, but like I'm thinking maybe it would be fun, I don't know. <laughs> Since this is such a nuanced process, it's worth debating whether you want to do the work yourself and put the burden on installing the application on your development team or to put that burden on your end users. I hope that our thoughts on when we think it's worth it and maybe not worth it to wrap an application help you figure out when it's worth it for you. The clapper, you know, like, <laughs> you know, that thing is called the clapper, right? Yeah. Take 394.